Google Slides is probably the tool that you're going to use most as a student. Right here, you probably recognize this icon. This is the Google Slides icon. You're going to use Google Slides in one of two ways. One, you're either going to create your own Google Slides from Classroom or from your Google Drive, or two, your teacher is going to assign you a template that you are going to edit. We'll look at both of these. In this case, the teacher has assigned me a template, which is a Google Slide in my classroom. And from here, I'm going to have my own slide that I'm going to be filling out. So I will click in the text boxes and add. There are certain things you may or may not be able to edit because the teacher has something already ready for you. In fact, there might even be multiple people on the same slides um, so that you can see other students' answers and you'll stay in your individual slide. Once I'm finished, I'm going to click back over to Google Classroom and then choose Mark is done so that the teacher knows that I'm done with the slides. In this case, the teacher wants me to create a slide on the day's topic. So I'm going to click on Add or Create and I'm going to see the Google Slides icon right here. Whenever you create Google Slides in Classroom, notice that the title is already done for me. When you create Google Slides from your drive, so this isn't prompted by the teacher, but you're in your Google Drive, you're going to click on New, see our icon, Google Slides. In this case, you'll need to go and add a title. Anywhere that there's a text box option, I can type information in. If I wanted to add another slide, so right now I just have one slide, I can click on the plus sign and it will add another slide for me or the little arrow next to the plus, plus sign and I can see all of my layout options. So maybe I want two columns and I can use this one. Remember to click on any of the text boxes in order to add text. If I wanted to move something or get rid of something, I click it once until there's a blue box around it. And then notice that I can drag this with my mouse or even using my arrow keys. I could also resize it by pulling the corners. So maybe I want to resize this so that it's just at the bottom and I want to make this one on top. So notice I'm pulling the corners in order to resize it. Once I'm typing in, I can also change my font and my size. I'm going to highlight the text. I've got all of my font options and then I'm going to choose the size. The most important thing is to make sure that the audience can read anything that you're typing. So make sure that the colors and fonts are easy to read. You've also got other options for what you can add to your slides. If you click on insert, notice that you can add an image straight from your camera. So this would be maybe taking a selfie or a picture of your work. Um, you could also add an image from your Google Drive or you could even search the web. So maybe I wanna add a picture of a butterfly and I'll go through and choose which picture looks best and then insert. Same thing here, in order to resize, I'm gonna pull from the corners and I can use my arrow keys to move this exactly where I want. Another great thing to know in Google Slides is that you can change the theme. Over here to the right hand side, you're gonna see all of the themes that I have available. If I click on this, it's gonna change the theme for all of my slides. If this box isn't here, we can get to themes simply by going to slide and then change theme. If by chance you were to make a mistake, maybe I erase an entire slide and I don't mean to, remember that you can always click the undo button and that will bring your slide back up. Same thing if I accidentally delete a text box, so I can click here and do backspace, but I can click on the undo button and I can get it back again. These are just a few options, but the most important ones probably to get started with Google Slides. If you need to share your slide, maybe with a teacher or a classmate, you can click on the share button and then you can type in their email or click and get shareable link. Most likely you're going to be turning these in through Google Classroom.